What is going on guys? It is Manager King. Thank you for stopping by on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be about a game mode that I think should return to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare because I think it can make the game more fun. The game mode I am talking about is Face-Offs from MW3. Now if you guys didn't play MW3 or you just didn't play the Face-Offs playlist, it was basically a 2v2 playlist or a 3v3, so it was a really fun playlist to play with your friends while playing Modern Warfare 3. So guys, I want to show you this trailer. This trailer is from Modern Warfare 3. This is when they introduced the face-off mode to the public. And I just want to show you how unique this mode actually was and some things they actually did when designing maps just for this game mode and stuff. But guys, just take a look at this trailer and I'll talk about it and why it should be in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Face-off to me is the epitome of competition 2v2 or 1v1. You're going head to head, no excuses, no distractions, no whining, you against one or two other guys, who's top dog? I'm gonna stop it right there, I will resume it, but guys, Michael Condry literally sums it up perfect. There is no whining in this game mode whatsoever, it's a pure 1v1 against you and another person, and winner takes it all. We didn't just create a new mode to play on all the other maps. What we wanted to do was create a new game style. We've made maps that are purposefully built specifically for this play style, and that's something we've never done before. The maps are smaller. You don't spend your time running around these maps looking for the other person. Engagements are actually quick and happen relatively fast. The combat is right around the corner all the time. It's super intense, and you're gonna have to really cater your gameplay to your opponent. A lot of people are already thinking, well, there already is a game mode like this, and it's called Cage Match, and that is in Mono Warfare Remastered. The problem with Cage Match is some of the maps are gigantic. That causes a lot of players to get one kill and then hide in a corner the rest of the game just so they can get the win and just a lot of slow gameplay overall. But the developers at the time working on this game mode at Infinity Ward knew that this would cause a lot of slow gameplay so they made maps designated to this game mode to have faster gameplay. That is the one problem with MWR's cage matches because it's super super slow and a lot of hiding most of the time and not getting in interactions with the other player. So one of the things you're going to want to do when you're doing face-off is strategize how you're going to work as a team together and use your combined arsenal to win. Yeah, and really focus on the competition of the game, the unexpected things that can happen between two players. Have a friend come over, it's just you and a buddy, and can actually play one-on-one -on, -one on these maps. In this format, these maps play very well on the split screen. You're going to approach a map and engagements differently and you're going to change the way you engage your enemy. It's a new and intense game type that we're really excited about. And not only did they have 1v1s, they had 2v2s and even 3v3s eventually when more DLC came out for Modern Warfare 3, but 2v2s are awesome because when you have a friend over, you can play some 2v2s or a split screen against another team online. This game mode ended up being really popular in Modern Warfare 3 and really competitive against other teams while you're playing this. I'm going to stop the trailer right there, the rest of the trailer is just just a lot of talking and more gameplay and not other things about the game mode but honestly if this game mode did come to call of duty infinite warfare that would be awesome because we don't even have something like a cage match in call of duty infinite warfare 1v1s and 2v2s have always been popular for some reason in call of duty and we need something like that in infinite warfare and i think face-offs would be a great addition to infinite warfare so guys let me know what you think down in the comments do you want to see something like this end up in infinite warfare or do you not really care but guys make sure to drop a like on the video don't forget to subscribe for daily call of duty content and as always have yourself a fantastic day peace out everyone